This year, we are celebrating 70 years of Wood TV. As part of that celebration, we've been bringing back classic storyteller Dick Evans, who traveled our state for three decades telling stories here on Wood TV. Each year, he also read The Night Before Christmas on television. Tonight, we are going back in the archives to air one of his readings, the one from 1985. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's night. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it was St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his corsairs they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the Corsairs they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly. The shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word that went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.